Hello everyone and happy Thursday. So welcome to a solo haul of just me. I went to the bins on Tuesday. I didn't go Monday. We usually go Monday, Wednesday, or at least I do nowadays. But I went on Tuesday because we were visiting Ryan's parents over the weekend for Labor Day weekend and we had a blast. So thank you everyone that commented and said like have a good time. We definitely did have a good time. I hadn't seen them in a hot minute so it was so nice to see them again and to give them all the things we've saved up for them from the bins and I had a bunch of birthday gifts for them and stuff. It was nice to see them again and Mike loves to see them too so that was super fun. So we got back on Monday and I did not want to race off to the bins so on Tuesday I kind of just pretended it was Monday and I went to the gym and then I went to the bins and I stocked up on a lot of fall stuff that I am quite excited about and I'm actually very happy that I didn't go on Monday I don't know if you guys experience this I'm sure you do but when there is a Monday holiday that's like a government holiday or a mail holiday or whatever the bins get so so busy. From my past experience, every single time on like Memorial, Labor, Presidents, all those days, they get so crazy busy and it's horrible. Like it's worse than like Saturdays and Sundays. So I totally like to skip those days. And I heard from some people who were there on Monday and Tuesday that they were crazy. So I am totally not mad that I didn't go on Monday. But I went yesterday and actually as I'm filming this, Ryan is at the bins right now. So I hope he's finding some good stuff. But but he wouldn't have enough time to get back, have us film this, and then have it uploaded by tomorrow. So I am filming this this morning all by myself, my Tuesday bins trip. Ryan has considered that he might want to do a solo haul, like in the next two weeks of what he gets today. But we'll see. I definitely am not going to hold him to that. And he easily could change his mind because he's so busy with all the school stuff. And he's volunteering with the art center again in a couple weeks and stuff. So... That's a possibility for the future, but for now, I have a solo haul for you guys. I will say before we get into it, that Friday tomorrow on the second channel, I have a decorating vlog of me decorating the house for Halloween that I'm so, so excited to post. I'm so proud of my decorating this year. So that's going up tomorrow on the second channel, which is always, I think, the first link below. Saturday, we've got a normal What's Hold Saturday with Ryan and me. Next Tuesday, we have a fall come thrift with us, which I'm very excited about. We're going to go to Unique, which is our favorite thrift store. Hopefully the coats and jackets and stuff are out. And then we're going to go to some Goodwills and we might go to Savers. So we are gonna go to all kinds of places and look through the sweaters, pants, jeans, all that fun stuff. And then next Thursday, actually, in a week from right now, I am going to do another Real Real video. So it's gonna kind of be like a, I mean, it's not really a fall Real Real video because I can't really like theme the video. Maybe I could talk about like some jacket brands I like to send them. Actually, that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. Uh, but you guys should let me know what you want to see. I never really know what to do in the real, real videos. So if you have any questions, if you have any topics you want me to cover, please leave them below. But I'm going to do a real, real video next Thursday. It's actually the 15th next Thursday. So it is real, real payout day for all of the August consigning. So that's really exciting. And it's like perfect timing. I don't think I've ever done a real, real video on the 15th. But yeah, it's kind of weird that it lined up that way. Anyways, I talk too much, even when I'm alone. So I am going to jump right into this. <laughs> One more thing before we start. So this haul is like a little different from what I would usually pick up, kind of in a way. There's a decent amount of mall brand stuff. So if you've ever wondered what I pick up that's mall brands that I do like to sell myself, none of this is to consign, this is the haul for you. It also means if you're interested in buying any of this, most of it will be priced quite a bit lower than a lot of the other stuff in my posh closet. So that's a positive. Well, it's definitely not all mall stuff. There is some other stuff in here. So we should just jump into it. I'm gonna start with the shoes, the bags, etc., And then I'm gonna go into the bottoms and then I'm gonna go into the tops and sweaters and everything. First up is my only pair of shoes I found and these were in the thumbnail. These are a pair of fry boots. And right as I was leaving, there was a shoe switch out happening and these were just sitting right on top and I kind of ran up to them 
like the bins, the shoe bins, after everyone had already kind of looked and dispersed. So I don't know what is up and why people skipped these. These are some of the nicest fry boots, honestly, I think I've ever had. The whole like front lace, front lace front, and the fact that they're like knee high, I think they're super, super nice. I love this color. The bottoms are in great shape too. And these, these are size six. So they're a little bit smaller, the sides zip but I'm actually really excited about these. And of course for the season, perfect. Then on the bags. So I got two bags. First up is this crossbody kind of convertible bag. And this is actually a vintage coach bag. So you can slide it through and have it be like a handle one like this, or you can have it be a crossbody. This is an older one. I don't know if I really looked into it that much on like where it's from or whatever. So it is made in Italy. Proof that I have not looked at this yet. Made in Italy. Honestly, did I even know that Coach was made in Italy ever? I don't really think so. So this is made in Italy. I gotta look up if this is like worth a lot of money or something. I've done no research on this whatsoever. I don't know what style it is or the value of it, but perfect, perfect coach leather in the fall does so so good so i'm super super pumped to find that and the other bag is actually coach two and if you guys can help me out with this that would be fantastic so this is a super nice coach bag and you can tell because it has this stamping on the bottom usually the coach 1941 stuff has stuff like this i don't think that's what this is from though it says genuine gloved hand pebbled leather this oh it is coach 1941 so this is a very 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 expensive bag but it's like one of those remake ones where they have the picture of like the vintage style and they've remade the vintage style once again i haven't really looked up much of this it's a remake of the 1971 iconic it bag and it doesn't have the name of the bag that it is a remake of but what i need you guys' help with is the zipper pull is missing and the handles have seen many better days in their lifetime and i am pretty sure that coach especially with their expensive bags has like pl like not protection plans but i think they will like fix them for you so if anyone knows anything about like a coach repair thing that they do or something please let me know this is such a nice like leather bucket bag and it's 1941 so it's probably retailed for like 650 dollars but i would love to get it fixed before selling it because it just like deserves it it's such nice leather oh my gosh so if anyone knows anything about coach repair services please let me know i am gonna do my own research but sometimes you guys just know like way more than I can even find out on my own. So I have three more kind of miscellaneous things, then we'll get into the bottoms, and then we'll get into the tops and stuff. First up is this bonnet, and you guys might be like, what has happened to you? This is a very cute cottage, very cottagecore bonnet, and it has a brand in it, or it has a person's name, Lynn Parker, and then it is imported by Max Herney, 50% wool, 50% cotton, and it was made in Switzerland. So I looked this up, and this is actually a bonnet from the 50s or 60s, and people list them for like 45 bucks. So I absolutely picked this up. When you find funky things like this, I would recommend looking them up, especially when they're like made in like European countries and stuff, because who, I feel like most people would skip that, but look up interesting, weird, funky things like that. Next up is a West Elm pillowcase. West Elm is just so expensive that I was like, sure. I pick up Pottery Barn, West Elm, Restoration Hardware, and sometimes Crate and Barrel, especially at the bins. So it's just like for a throw pillow. There's no stains or anything, so I thought I would grab that. Also, it doesn't weigh very much. My last other thing is really really strange but really really valuable so this is another example of like go with your gut it never hurts to like google things because i found this and i was like i think these are like really expensive and sure enough i was right so this is a beanbag chair <laughs> this is a beanbag chair cover and the brand on this i've seen many a commercial for it is Love Sack. So Love Sack beanbag chairs are like $600, which is 
absolutely insane for a freaking beanbag chair. Yeah, here's the Love Sack label and here's another one. Um, it's like an ultra suede fabric and it actually has like a style name in it. It's the Gamer Sack 3. Again, these retail for like $600 and they resell for $350. There were comps all over for like $350. There are a few very, very like small marks on this and obviously it doesn't have its fill, but the casing is like what matters because of how soft they are and you can get your own like fill and okay because it's missing the fill maybe I can get like 300 instead of 350 but I was like shocked when I looked this up. Ryan wants to keep this so bad like he told me I can't sell it but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna list it because we do not <laughs> Need a giant beanbag chair. We'll see. He was like really pushing to keep it, but again, I would really like to sell it. So let's move on to bottoms. And like I said, warning, there's a handful, a big heaping handful of mall brands in here, but it's really good mall stuff. It's all from like 2020, 2021, and 2022. And it's just hard to skip, especially at the bins when it's gonna be so cheap. So unsurprisingly, there is some American Eagle because apparently, that's what my closet's become. $500 shoes and American Eagle. <laughs> so this is American Eagle. These are from, I think, 2021. These are the mom jean, which is one of the styles that I do pick up. And these are a size zero, which I normally wouldn't pick up. But American Eagle has some jeans that are super lightweight and then some that are like heavy, kind of like classic Levi's. These are super lightweight, so I thought, why would I skip them when they're from like last year? And they're really, really cute. And honestly, American Eagle stuff can do good on Posh, eBay, and Mercari. So I just thought I'd grab those again because they were actually pretty lightweight too. Then we have a Madewell piece, and this is actually new with tag. It retailed for $80 and it's a size 26 and it's this striped skirt with like a button fly to it. I was really excited to find a brand new Madewell, especially not in like a size double zero because <laughs> I feel like that's all I ever find. Then this is a vintage piece and it is this brown, also floral printed, pleated, pocketed, button front skirt. And this is actually vintage free people. And if you've missed a few of our last videos, I feel like we've mentioned this for a few videos in a row, Vintage Free People does really, really good on Depop. I don't really know why, but it does. This is a size large, and this is going right on Depop. I do list everything everywhere, but I'm sure Depop is where it will sell. Then we have a pair of Sanctuary Pants, size large. And these are the like jegging, the legging jeans that Sanctuary makes. There's a ton of different prints and they're all very fall. There's a lot of plaids, houndstooth, gray, brown. But these are like a striped, almost micro plaid, brown, jegging. So the back pockets are fake and the front pockets are also fake. But these are, most of the prints of these are sold at Anthro. Either way, it's a really good fall color, so I thought I would pick it up. Like I said, it's not all mall brands, because, like, this is Vince. So, Vince, and these are a size large, and these seem to be really, really modern. There's the large again, and they are made of triacetate and polyester, and this label just looks either these have never been worn or they're, like, really new. I'm gonna sell these myself instead of sending them to the real real, because the real real prices pants, especially black pants, so freaking low. And I think these are actually really nice. They have like an elastic back waistband and size large is really good too. So I am gonna sell these myself. They're kind of like a satin. Again, really good for like the season too. Then I have a Hollister piece. In my life, I don't think I've ever listed a Hollister piece myself, but these are a great size and they're so trendy. So these are Hollister size 33. And these are the ultra high rise mom jean in vintage, which is just like perfect. So these are just like really good trendy mom jeans that are probably from the past couple years and they're size 33, which is a great size. So I was like, I mean, I'm not gonna skip them. Cause again, like 
They're decently lightweight. It wouldn't have cost me too much. So I did pick those up. On to a store that we see in every mall everywhere, I feel like. I don't think there's like a mall anywhere that exists without this store. Hot Topic. <laughs> so these are size medium. And Hot Topic clothes do crazy good, I have come to find out. Because Hot Topic clothes are actually decently expensive. Like a pair of pants is like 70 to 90 dollars and like the best sale they have is like buy one get one half which sucks like what a not great sale these are from 2021 and honestly i don't know if it's better to have super super modern ones or vintage ones i think everything does good but these are some pink plaid pants once again they have that like elastic back like the vince pants but punk gothic type stuff it does really good. I have like a plaid pleated skirt from 2016 on Depop and Poshmark and it's doing really good on both. So I was actually really excited to find those. Then we have J. Crew. These are the Cafe Capris size two. And they're lined because these are actually like really, really high quality, nice wool. They're plaid, so they're great for fall, but they're also like red and green. So they would be great going into winter too. These are just such nice material. This wool is like crazy nice. The year is cut out of these and the style, but since it says Cafe Capri, hopefully I can still kind of find information on them, but I couldn't skip those. Then these are really good. Uh, I found a pair of good American jeans and these are the good waist and they're a size four or a size 27. And they're just a really nice, classic, raw hem, light wash, super high rise pair of jeans. This was like the second thing I found when I was there and I was like, gonna be a good bins day. Little did I know I was gonna be like stealing a whole entire 2021 mall. Next is a Spanx item, or as Ryan would say, a Spank, because it's just a one piece thing. <laughs> These are the Spanx like belly like band or like belly cincher but they also are like shorts and don't be worried this is all just like fuzzy i just ha i haven't washed any of this yet it's just fuzzy like she wore them with like some knit pants so there's nothing these aren't dirty at all they're actually in really good shape there's just some like fuzzies on them size medium love to find spanx then we have j crew pont sur Point, sir. Size 26, and these are the wide leg crop. Do these have a year in them? They are from the end of 2019, and they are just these like green cropped wide leg pants. Point, sir, by J. Crew is actually like more expensive than J. Crew, I think. I don't know. They might have already stopped using the Point, sir label. I'm not totally sure, but I think these are great for fall. Then, Abercrombie and Fitch. We're just like store to store going down a mall. These are the dad short high rise. They're a size 24 and they also have that crossover button detail to the front that has been so popular this past year. So Abercrombie and Fitch denim, if it's a trendy style, does so good. And it actually has a lot of value. Like if you find trendy jeans, like the nineties or the dad or the mom, they can go for like 60 to $70. That's more than I could get for free people jeans and stuff now. So that is crazy. These are so cute, I think. I think they'll do really, really well. She, for some reason, like put a highlighter in her pocket that was open and just sat on it but that did not deter me. Obviously these were really cheap at the bins and I might obviously get a little bit less. Again, I still haven't tried cleaning them too. There might be a way to remove highlighter, but I was still gonna get those either way. Those will do really good. Another brand that I have only sold like once or twice myself. This is actually H&M. Once again, you guys are probably like, what's wrong? Are you okay? Can we take your temp? Um, this is a size six and it's a skirt that's all floral with a lace intimate style like detail trim to the top lace trim split at the front and then lace detailing to the bottom so right away it caught my attention i was like oh that's like really really on trend i'm just gonna put them in my google pile and look them up and sure enough this skirt is still on the website full price it's always good to have like things that are still available in stores because some people will look them up see them on the website and be like i wonder if i can get this cheaper and then they'll look it up find yours on posh and snatch. Next up is Airy. Woo! These are Airy Offline, extra small. 
and these are from the end of 20 October 2021 so not even a year ago the area offline stuff can do pretty good or you can just bring it to play-dohs but especially since this is from the end of last year these airy offline leggings can actually do really good on mercari so that's why i grabbed those let's do a couple more american eagle and then let's get into the top sweaters dresses etc which i feel like has a little bit more variety the bottoms are very mall heavy but the tops i feel like are a little less american eagle new label these are actually a double zero uh 2021 and these are the mom jean they have the crossover button front it's very slight so it's kind of hard to tell but there's actually two buttons you can pick from one is slightly like over to the right and the other is just like straight on so you could kind of just like pick which one you want to do uh yeah double zero but these are like really really cute so i'm gonna try them we'll see how they do I like the wash of these. Another pair of American Eagles, and these are a size zero mom jean. Like I've said in the past, really, if you're gonna do American Eagle jeans, probably get like size eight plus. Those do the best. So I might be like making a really dumb decision getting these, but like they're all from like last year. And we're going into fall. And like people need jeans that aren't like Frame, Mother, Ammo, all those expensive brands. <sighs> so maybe. <laughs> And last American Eagle, these are the curvy mom shorts. And these are from the end of 2020. And they're just a cute pair of shorts. These are a better size. These are a 10. So I think these will do quite well. Okay, let's move on to the tops and sweaters and dresses and other fun things. And let's start with a vintage item. Actually, let's start with the two vintage items that are both leather. First up is like a leather shirt, which I think is so cool. This, it has no size or label or anything. It doesn't even say, I don't think there's even like a leather label in here. There's not, but I can tell that this is vintage leather quite easily. But yeah, there's no labels. So I don't, I think this size would be like a woman's extra small or small but it's this really nice like dark 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 brown color and i'm gonna kind of leather condition the trim to some of this because it's a little just like dry but otherwise it's in great shape there's no tear in the lining or anything and obviously leather is super super popular right now for fall 2022 so i had to get those or i had to get that and then i have another leather piece and this is from berman's which my which debbie my mom let me know is the place where she got her first leather coat and put it on layaway and it was like $250 back in like the 80s and she had to keep doing payments on it and it's like, oh, now I just find it at the bins. This is made in Korea and it's size eight, so it's definitely vintage. And this is a pink, like blush pink, cropped moto jacket. So this should do real, real good on like every platform. It would go down like a little above your waist, I believe. And it actually has two snaps, one here and one here. And then like a little short zipper. I think this is so cute. It does have like sh some shoulder pad action going on, but the lining is in great shape once again, like the other one. And there's no holes, there's no stains or anything. I was quite excited to find this. This one does say that it's 100% leather, but I knew that anyways. So yeah, there it is like open. There's the little snap and zipper. I was excited about that. That was one of the last things I found. And I was like, oh, absolutely. Then we have a Victoria's Secret piece, which I I guess is also a mall brand. <laughs> this I thought was really cute. And we all know that intimate stuff is really, really in right now. So a Depop person, <laughs> I say that like it's like a group of people. Someone that likes to shop on Depop, I feel like a Depop girly, as Ryan would say, I feel like would buy this and wear it over like a white t-shirt or a white tank top or something. I feel like that's like the style now. But it's Victoria's Secret 34B. And I just like this caging and lace detail to the front. And then of course the like sheer peplum bottom to it. I think that'll actually do really good. I don't really pick up bras and intimates as much as Ryan. But that one I made an exception for. Then we have an anthro piece, which technically anthropology is a mall brand too. <laughs> this is Field Flower, which is an older anthro brand, but I know this is a newer piece. It's an extra small 
And this is like a sweater tunic that's in this really pretty green color with like flower petals and centers all over it and like long sleeves. I think this will do really good. Obviously a sweater material, a knit material will do very good for the season. Then we have a Zara piece that I decided to sell myself instead of giving to Debbie. It is a mini dress that is strappy. You tie like two straps together like this. I just don't have them tied right now. It's a size large and it's just like a button front kind of cottage core floral dress. And I think that'll do good. So I'm gonna try it, see how it does. Then we have a piece from ASTR, which I never grab. Size small, um, but this is so cute. So witchy core and so fall, so Halloween, so you could also go to like a fall wedding. It's this black fully like floral lace, almost maxi dress. It goes down to like the mid shin, I believe. But I thought this was really, really cute. ASTR, I feel like I used to maybe do when I first started reselling. I have not done it in forever now, but I think that this is adorable and I, I believe in it. Then we have a new brand from Dolls Kill. I'm still like, I try to learn the Dolls Kill brands, but like there's a lot of them and I feel like they change them a lot, but this is one. It's called TikTok. It's spelled different from the app, <laughs> but it is this really adorable, like marble printed, sheer ruched puff sleeve crop top. This is so trendy. It's a size medium. I think this will sell by the end of the week with the like ruching lines in the front and the sheer. It kind of reminds me of Shein, but it's better that it's not Shein. <laughs> Two American Eagle pieces that'll get out of the way quick. So this is an American Eagle sweater size small, again from like 2020 or 2021. It's a super oversized, chunky blue, tan, and white sweater with like contrast body and sleeves. There's like one little thread that I just have to pull through right here or else it's in like new condition. These actually do sell well for me, kind of like the jeans, so I wasn't gonna pass on it. Then another one, this one's a small two, and this is actually from like the end of 2021. It's really cute with this collar on it. And then I really like the blues that they use, it's like a nice ocean blue with white and then the buttons at the top. I think this one will do really, really well as well. And my American Eagle, I usually put on, I mean, I put everything everywhere. So I put it everywhere. <laughs> this, let's go to the next store in the mall. This is from J. Jill. I don't really sell J. Jill very often either, but I think this is adorable. It's a size medium and it is a midi dress with these really, really pretty like berries and floral and foliage print throughout. Again, it's like midi length and it's sleeveless, but it's like new and I haven't looked any of this up, but I'm sure when I look this up, this will also be from the past like couple years because it's in super, super good shape. This is actually a really, really good find I had and I'm surprised at the brand that it's from. Actually first, okay, first I'll show you what it is. So obviously it caught my attention because there's a very angry little teddy bear on it. And I was like, what in the world is this? Then I felt it and I was like, ooh, that feels like it at least has some cashmere in it. It is super nice. And the brand it's from is actually Seven for All Mankind. It's a size small. I never, besides dojo sometimes, I never sell Seven, but the sweater retail for like almost $400 and there are two comps that I saw in Posh from my quick googling, $175 and $200. And they were the white version and I actually prefer this like black version. So, uh, that's a great find. I was actually very, very excited about that. Next, we have a Maeve Anthropology, so a newer piece from Anthro, size extra small. And I think this is just a tunic as well. It kind of looks like butterfly wings, but I don't, it also kind of looks like cattails or something. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but I was excited to find that. This is an Urban Outfitters piece. It's a bandeau top, which again, very popular with the girlies right now. It says extra small, small. It's just like a floral black bandeau top. We have a Madewell piece that is a size extra small. And I think this is adorable. I still have to snap. It does have the two snaps. I just haven't snapped at the front, but it's it's like a faux wrap floral sheer sleeve top. Super cute. This is a new Bolo brand that I had never heard of. I thought these were Spanx, but it's actually a brand called Lily Silk. 
and her stuff looks to be very, 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 very expensive. Oh my gosh, it's 95% silk. I guess that's why it's Lily Silk. It's one size. I don't really know much. I can't tell you guys much about this brand because I just like Googled the value. I don't really know much about it, but if you see Lily Silk, get it. This was the first thing I found and I think this is so nice. It's like new, except that it's missing the drawstring, but it is Polo Ralph Lauren if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and it's like just a normal like hoodie, graphic hoodie. New label, size medium, probably retailed for like 125 to like $170. I think that'll do good. This, let's do this. This is a Lululemon piece. It is the only Lululemon that I found the whole time. It is this like textured hoodie like a lighter hoodie. It'd be actually really good to work out in because it's not super thick and stuff. Uh, but there's the logo. It was actually flipped inside out when I found it, but I got that Lululemon like intuition and I was right. So we have four more things. We have this dress. It is a vintage Sundance piece, but I absolutely love it. It's a size 12 and it's like this cottage core green floral full button front dress with kind of like sunflowers all over it. This will do really good. And of course, a size 12 is a great size to find. So that is very, very exciting. We have two gap pieces that I guess I will do at the same time. <laughs> like the last few hauls, I don't have like a finale for you guys. It's just like a couple more things. This is from 2020, I believe. It's gap. It's extra small tall, which I will say tall mall brand or petite mall brand can do really, really good on eBay. So this is a tall black like shift satin flowy soft dress with kind of like puffed sleeves good for fall black cotton or whatever material long dresses always do really good in the fall so i wanted to pick that up it says extra small but i would say this could also fit a small then we have the other gap piece this is actually a jumpsuit and it's in a really really soft nice material this is a size medium tall by gap and it is this kind of like slightly bat wing jumpsuit again it's like a really stretchy soft material and again it's from like 2021 or 2020 it does have a belt that goes with it too but i have been picking up modern gap lately and it's been doing pretty decent so that's why i grabbed that and my last piece before my throat gives out because of all this talking is ann taylor it's new a tag size 10 so I would have picked this up to consign, but blazers are super in. I believe this is quite oversized. And if you guys could feel this wool, it is not like a blazer wool where it's like pressed or just like, I, like, it doesn't feel like the average blazer. This feels like a super, super nice, like, overcoat or like a coat you'd wear like outside versus one that you would wear like to work. So it is 37% wool, 52% polyester, 11% cotton. I'm surprised this is not 100% wool because it feels so nice. It has like no lining. It's just a super nice wool interior. I love this. It's a, oh, I just wish you guys could feel it. I wish this was a 4D experience, but it's not. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it was maybe like a little less bougie than ours can be. There was nothing really like luxury. I mean, Coach 1941 basically is luxury, but I think it's kind of nice to every once in a while, like fill in my closet with some bread and butter, very on season pieces. And that's what I feel like this was like slightly lower price range, but I didn't pay anything for them really. Pieces that should sell quick because they're just not like hundreds of dollars. So that's what this was. Let me know what you guys thought. What was your favorite piece? Would you have picked this stuff up? Am I crazy for grabbing all these mall brands? I don't know. <laughs> Obviously with this stuff, I can fall back on consignment stores if they don't sell. So I will see you guys tomorrow on the second channel if that interests you. Or Ryan and I will see you on Saturday for what sold Saturday. So we will see you then. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.